Uh, do you know the truth, Jalisa? I, I think that this whole movement is actually deeply misogynistic in the true sense, mm -hmm. like in, in the real sense. The word misogyny is thrown around. Oh, my God. I'm so tired of hearing that word. But if people want to talk about a real patriarchy and a real misogyny, mm -hmm. it is what is going on in the name of the so-called trans movement. Yeah. Just allowing men with our balls, our beards, our penises to mm -hmm. conquer women's sports conquer women's beauty pageants, mm -hmm. go into your changing rooms, oh my go, go into the, go into the spas. I mean, it's wild. It, and it's, it's crazy because it's crazy for two reasons. Number one, because it's primarily women who support it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's one crazy part. Yeah. And the other crazy part is it's only women who are negatively affected by it. Mm -hmm. Right. If a female goes into a male space, doesn't matter if it's sports, if it's a changing room, if it's a spa, if it's, they're not going to like, they're not a threat. They right? can't, they're, we can't dominate y'all sports. We can't uh, it's, it's outlift you. We can't uh, right? outlift you. Like, because low, <laughs> it, right. So, so that's the thing. So even though it might be goofy and it might be illogical, mm -hmm. it doesn't have a real negative impact. I mean, you're seeing these situations. It sounds like South Park. You're getting female prisoners in prisons, getting pregnant because they're allowing males into the prison yeah. and suddenly females are getting pregnant and they're like, hmm, what's going, what's going on here? How did what that happen? That, yeah, how did this happen? Oh, we, we don't know why. It's like, what do you mean? Yeah. So it's weird. And it's weird seeing these so-called progressive women like, yeah, this is what we want. Trans women are women. This is equality. And I'm, I'm just like, you are, you want your own erasure, right? Mm -hmm. Your, your, your daughters, your granddaughters, they're going to have to deal with the the effects of all this stupidity and it's 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 pretty maddening to me because i'm just like yo i'm trying to because i've been talking about this issue now for for many years before it was as mainstream as it is mm -hmm. and i was always saying yo this is going to affect women and girls in a bad way it's why i did that whole deadlift stunt almost mm -hmm. four years ago now people still yeah. talk about it that was almost <laughs> four years ago and i was obviously bringing that to light as the, look mm -hmm. this is why this is so goofy this is the problem if you can just have any big dude like me just be like hey i'm a woman and walk in i mean i mean south park yeah. parried it parodied it later that year and it's now this is happening you must have seen yeah. that beauty competition not long ago yes i did oh oh my gosh that big old <laughs> dude <laughs> i was like boy i can't even say girl like i my mouth it won't fix itself to say girl like i'm just like boy if you don't take that dress off <laughs> you're much larger than everyone else and, and and then all the girls are like oh my gosh yes yeah good job that's yeah. that's the part that's no. the part no why are you clapping for that <laughs> like i if i was there i'm just like like old me would just sit there and be quiet today me will get up and be like, what is wrong with all of you and then look around and say stop clapping I'd grab their hands put their hands down and stop <laughs> stop all of you no delusion we had this conversation in, at my other school that i was at um with the kids and we asked them like you know what because they would say what if somebody wants to be called this or that or and i was like i don't care i don't care as a teacher i don't care i'm gonna teach you that you don't have to give in to everything and then the kids were going back and forth and i was like well what if i want to be called your majesty because i feel like a princess mm -hmm. are you gonna do it and then like, well that's different so, no, it's not. It's how I feel inside. And you better call me that or gonna be, you're going to get canceled. Like, and so when they, you start to give them these analogies, they're just like, oh, well, yeah, you know. It, what is the, like, there's no difference between gender, animal, um, you know, a, t a royal title. Like, what, there's a, not a difference. It's just, they're, they're just saying, oh, so how I feel. Mm -hmm. How I feel. So how I feel is like a queen. So you must bow down and call me. Your majesty and then they're like no that's not the same as like yes it is yes it yeah. is I, I try my best not to be too disparaging of humanity and people in general mm -hmm. but i've really learned that a lot of people genuinely do not think people mm -hmm. really don't think things through they just take a line it doesn't it doesn't even need to make sense and they just repeat it and they go with it mm -hmm. and there's not that with me if some idea comes or if someone says a sentence to me which just logically does not, right? Like it's just immediately like, wait, that doesn't, that doesn't really make sense, right? If someone's mm -hmm. telling me that a square is actually a circle, 
Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, squares are circles. I'm like, wait, 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 hang on. Like, what, what do you mean by that? Right. Mm-hmm. There's, there's a process of like yeah. pushback, but there are people where it's just, just do this thing, say this thing and they just go with it. Mm-hmm. Especially if other people are saying it and doing yeah. it and they, and they just go with it and they just repeat it. And I'm like, wait, this doesn't, what's going on? We saw this all through the past two and a half years mm-hmm. and people are just doing all this goofy stuff, repeating stuff. It makes, it makes no sense at all. No <laughs> sense. It, completely illogical. There's no, there's no science. There's no logic. Yeah. There's no, I'm just like, wait, why are you doing this? Mm-hmm. Why are you, sc- you're screaming at me for not doing it. Great example. When I was in Portugal, I went to Portugal last year, mm-hmm. uh, spring 2021. In the UK, people, most people wore masks indoors, but it was no one bothered. People didn't bother each other, mm-hmm. generally speaking, right? Like, and not, most people didn't wear them outside. Uh, you, you could not wear one and you'd, you'd be fine. I went to Portugal where they had both an indoor and outdoor mask mandate, but mm-hmm. the people on the street, no, like 99.5% compliance, but then people would scream. So I'm just walking down the street by myself. Like it's sunny, warm day, mm-hmm. I don't know, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just walking down the street by myself, minding my own business. People are shouting at me. Where's your mask? Put on a mask. Why aren't you wearing them? You're putting outside. We're not even talking inside. Yeah. Just walking around outside. And I'm just like, this is so like as someone who's interested in human psychology, mm-hmm. I'm just like, yeah. what is what is going on here? Because even for the people who believe that the masks are effective mm-hmm. outside yeah by yourself you're, right like like or pe- people driving in the car driving in their cars alone wearing them which mm-hmm. which happened in all countries and all cities mm-hmm. you still see it to this day and in some ways some, some of my friends are just like man like Zuby, Zuby just just let it go it doesn't matter why does no, it no, bother no. you can't let it, and, can't and let i'm it just go. like <laughs> i can't well, let it go it, it bothers me number one because people were trying to force this on other people mm-hmm. but it also bothers me simply because i like to understand things i like to mm-hmm. understand what's going on if i walked out outside and everyone was hopping around on one leg i'd be like why are they doing that mm-hmm. right and so if someone just says oh well it's a free country you're free to hop around on one. i'm like i'm not saying you're not allowed to do it yeah but why are they walk- hopping around it doesn't make sense it's weird mm-hmm. it's strange it's not the best mode of transport why are people yeah. walking hopping around on one leg and, and mm-hmm. you just keep seeing it i'd be like why is this happening every time i see it it's gonna bother me <laughs> yeah no you have to you have to say something and i you know and people tell me that all the time just let it go or you know leave people alone let them i'm like no because it doesn't make sense. But two, if you like, because I continue to talk about a lot of things, I have seen like some people kind of like break down their way of thinking and they kind of let it go because I, you know, what they see me posting or saying or whatever. And then that they're like, okay, this doesn't make sense. Maybe I should take it off. Maybe it's okay to stand next to somebody and breathe normally. Like, so when we do continue to speak, you know, because I did have people who were mass crazy, freaking out, whatever. And then mm. now they're not anymore because of people like us who continue to talk, show them things. This makes sense. And I did even have a student who was like, you know, didn't want to get the shot. And she was like a freaking out. And uh, but she had followed me on social media and she was and I t- and I wrote her. I said, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you not to get whatever. I'm going to sh- just present you information. And if you'd like, you know, do what you want to with this. And uh, she showed it to her parents. She told me and they were like, okay, well, you don't have to get it. Um, Mm -hmm. Because I don't like to force, I don't want to force what I believe, but I just like to show people stuff. And that was a frustration with like uh, social media because the censorship and all that kind of stuff, like, and you really want to show people. And these are personal stories that I've you know, especially with me going freaking psychosis I had at work because it, every two seconds it was like, put your mask on, put your mask on. You're, here's a write up at 132, you weren't wearing it. Like I was going insane and I was like the only person speaking up, which drove me crazy, which is why I was like, I have to say something because I feel like in my area around my people, I was affected the most because my school district held on to it like the last one in Houston. Mm. and I'm like it's been three school years like what is wrong with you people like everyone's having we're having music festivals we're having the rodeo out here we're having all of these things and you are still making you gave away tickets to the music festival that had like hundreds some thousand people but you're still forcing it in schools because it's dangerous in schools like like mm. you know like y'all 
use your brain. Use your brain. Like, what is happening in here every day? I'm like, oh my gosh. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. I am going to <laughs> scream because <laughs> why? And I got yeah. made out to be like the crazy person. I'm like, no, you guys are. You're the crazy ones. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you?